last year, RRR was one of my top five favorite movies of the year. So I've been trying to see more Indian films in the theater. Last night, I went to go see J1 on opening night. So let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Sean and I love to talk about movies and TV way too much. With that in mind, go ahead and join me down below in the comments section. Let me know what did you think about J1 if you've seen it. Now, I'm pretty new to Indian cinema. A few years back, I saw Jalakatu at a film festival. And then back in 2020, I reviewed Three Idiots. And then last year I saw RRR and I loved it. So also, if if I'm trying to expand my knowledge of Indian cinema experiences with it, let me know some recommendations down below in the comment section. With that said, let's get started. And I'll just cut right to the chase. I had a lot of fun watching the movie and it was just a fun experience watching it with a packed theater on opening night. It was playing on the biggest screen at the theater that I go to and almost every single seat was sold and the, the point of reference, best point of reference I would have for the experience watching this movie would be like Avengers Endgame or Spider-Man No Way Home where the audience just kind of leapt into applause whenever certain things happened. But that was the experience all throughout the entire movie. Whenever they would do like the epic intros of the actors, characters into a scene and big music would kick in, like the audience just started cheering, they were whistling. I mean, it was just such a fun, energetic environment to watch a movie and in particular when kind of experiencing a type of cinema storytelling that's kind of fresh and new for me i don't have a lot of experience with indian cinema that it it just creates a nice just environment to kind of join in on the fun and something else that uh so many people love and kind of discovering new actors and things like that it was just a really fun way to watch the movie and my thought almost um, once the movie started and I got the vibe of the energy in the room it made me go man I wish I would have seen RRR last year opening weekend when it came out that would have been so so cool so as for the movie itself as like with much Indian cinema it's a it's a film that covers all these different genres where it starts off in this village and there's kind of some mystery and intrigue surrounding a character. There's all sorts of big, gigantic action sequences. There's like five or six musical numbers inside of it. There's comedy, there's romance, there's there's politics, there's social messaging. It, it, it kind of has this, encompasses a whole lot with the movie. And that's that's part of what makes it difficult for me to review the film at the same time is what made it kind of like a refreshing experience. Whereas so much of the rules that I apply when reviewing a Hollywood movie, the way that they're typically designed and fit neater into genres, they're intended to have more tonal consistency. Part of the, the appeal is that all those rules that Hollywood uses, they just don't apply. They, they work on an entirely different level. And there's just such an earnestness to uh, to them. And on the one hand, they can be very on the nose with with almost everything, whether the introduction of characters, they're always so epic and big and in slow-mo and massive music is playing. The action sequences are huge and cars flipping over, people flying through walls. And when it gets to the emotional scene, it's very much in your face. When it goes to the commentary uh, about society, it's very much stated, like you know exactly what they're trying to communicate. And on the one hand, um, it's the sort of thing that if they did in a Hollywood movie, I would feel like I'd be critical of it, but there's, it's so sincere in the way that everything is done that it, it's intentional. It's meant to be designed in this way. So it's tough for me to evaluate it because I don't have too, too many points of reference to compare it to, as it's just a different way of telling a story, uh, treating the stars, integration of genres into a single uh, film that it's a little bit tricky. My two points of reference that I really have are Three Idiots and then uh, of course RRR from last year, more so RRR because they're both action films, but even in that context, they're still quite different. But, you know, by comparison, if I were to like go through between 
the three movies. This would probably be my my third favorite, and then Jalakatu is kind of something quite different. Um, but that that would be of the ones I've seen, the one that I, I enjoyed the least. This would be the the third on the list, um, where it had plenty of very cool action sequences. I don't think they were quite as memorable and as cool as what was in RRR, where it, like the bond of friendship with the two characters in RRR was just so cool that when they start fighting together or when they fight each other, like you feel all of it and just the way it was choreographed, I thought it was better in RRR, but there's still a lot here that was very cool. And the way that they're just, just have these over the top action sequences, uh, the car chase in particular, I thought was very good. I thought some of the hand-to-hand -hand fighting was a little bit kind of choppy in the way that it was edited. I couldn't see what was going on quite as well. And uh, that, that can frustrate me with the action sequences. And then kind of on the level of the social commentary type stuff, felt like because Three Idiots was a little bit more focused in its messaging and its story. And while it did have tons of genres in it, but it really kind of leaned in on a specific idea. It did it a little bit more straightforward and worked a little bit better. While well, here we're doing an action thriller and every time one of the, I don't know, one of the heist scheme things happen with our lead characters, it reach a point, reaches a point in time where it pauses to have the lead character basically talk to the camera and the audience and say the message that wants to be communicated. And some of it was a little bit difficult to follow because it is very culturally specific. It's about issues relevant to India right now that I don't I don't know exactly the environment. Like I'm not I've never been to India, so I don't know exactly what is being commented on. Not that I'm confused when it's talking about they're giving breaks to bankers versus farmers. Like I can follow along with it, but I don't know exactly what's being tackled some of the time. But it's very much just staring at the camera, literally telling what they're trying to communicate and then going into a big action sequence. I didn't think it was done quite as well as Three Idiots. Um, and I couldn't track along with it quite as well because it was touching on so many different things. Then one other thing the movie does uh, that, or they say that Indian cinema, oh, I can't even say that because I haven't seen enough to be able to speak in broad generalizations, but even the way the story is structured and the treatment of heroes and twists, turns, reveals, it, it makes for a scenario where you're trying to piece together what exactly is kind of happening in the movie. And then you get like two thirds of the way through it and they start explaining the opening scene of the movie. And you're like, oh, oh, now I see how it all ties together. And things that I didn't even realize were mysteries are being actually turned into answers that are being given in the back half of the film in a way that was very interesting and very cool at times. Like I, the back half, I enjoyed a lot more than the first half. And I think that was a lot because I understood what it was doing. I, when it started to piece it all together, I was like, oh, I see what's going on. Oh, I, oh, oh, that's what's oh, interesting. And they did some of that in RRR as well. Like, so the way that there, there's certain ways in which they're structured that can be similar of when certain reveals happen through flashbacks and you understand characters, motivations and backstories and stuff. Um, so I thought that worked really nicely. Um, I don't know if I have too much more to say. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a little bit difficult when you're experiencing something only a handful of times. And so if you've only been to, to one Indian restaurant, it's both the best and the worst one you've ever been to. And if you've only been to two, then one is the best and one is the worst. If you've only been to three, it's, it's, you don't have a, a lot of point of references to even kind of discuss things. It's something new, fresh, and different. So you don't know the difference between a good, don't, in large part, don't know the difference between a good one and a bad one. You just know it's different and you, you kind of like it. And you like the, the ver variety and the change of pace from what you're used to but you don't know how it compares to other ones really. So I, I just don't have a lot of point of references to be able to even discuss some of the more specific things or dive into even some of the political commentary on it because it's also fresh and new for me to be able to kind of understand it. So um, if I were to kind of go through the, the four that I have seen, as I talked before, I'd say RRR, easily the best, 
Three Idiots, another fantastic, great one. This one, solid, good. Parts of it were confusing for me. It was tough for me to follow along with a few things. A lot of it just because I didn't understand some of the cultural context and some of exactly what was kind of going on with it. And then Jalakatu, um, like I said, I watched it only one time at a film festival several years back, but plays very different from the other three movies on the list. If you've never checked out an Indian film before, I'd recommend checking out RRR or Three Idiots first. If you did see RRR and you liked it and you wanna kinda of go keep going down that path, this is a good next film to see. It's not nearly as good as RRR, but it is a very enjoyable film. So, and if you can see it this weekend with a packed theater, Go do that. It is a very fun way to watch a movie where people are just so excited to see the movie and their favorite actors. Check it out. You can check out my reviews for Three Idiots and RRR right around here. But like those movies, I had a, because they're a little bit more focused with their messages, I was able to uh, I analyzed them a little bit better than I was in this particular video. So check those out to hear my thoughts on them. Loved both of those movies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.